Hi, I'm John. I'm a retired general contractor. I've always enjoyed working with my hands and I want to go ahead and help others do the same. Uh, we're going to go ahead today and modify some individually wired smoke detectors to create a multi-station system. I went ahead and uh, had this house for quite a while and it had two individual stations which happened to be on two separate circuits and now I've got to create a loop where all the stations talk together. That allows it to work such that when one station goes off, they all go off. And anyhow, we'll uh, take a look at what I've got. This is the existing station I need to tie into to bring it into the loop. And simply uh, turn these things, they drop out. And as we can see, there are a few wires here. You've got a black and a white and a red. Now the black and the white wire are the power wires, they're always on, and uh, this red wire is the communication wire. And the fact that it's not tied to anything indicates that uh, it's not part of a communicative system yet. So we need to get this wire, this two strand wire, and replace it with three strand wire that has an extra red line on it, which is known as 14-3 wire. I have a piece. So I've got to try to get this down, get that wire out, and get a new wire in, and tie it back onto uh, the circuit that we've got working everything else. All right, so if you take a peek up here, we just have a single wire in this box, and we need to replace it. Now, now this right now is hot, and so the electricity is still on here. We want to make sure we get it off because as we drag this thing through the metal box, it could short out. So if we uh, unscrew this detector, these wires are hot, I know that, and we'll uh, go ahead and turn off the circuit and verify that the power is indeed off. All right, so uh, I believe I've got the breaker off, and you always want to make sure uh, so that you can use any kind of a tester. There's a voltmeter. If I touch it to the black and the white leads and I don't read any power, then there's no power on it. And let's see. This power is off. All right, so this is dead now and we can attempt to get that wire out, which I don't think will be hard. Now, when we take this wire out, we'd also like to get a new wire in. So I've got a new wire. This, uh, the old wire, as you can see, has a black and a white and a bare wire. And the new wire has an extra strand, a red strand. This is called 14-3 wire. And I've prepared this end for being able to pull it through an opening. I've trimmed back the sheathing, I've taken off the extra wires, put a little tape on it so that it doesn't get hung up as I pull it through the hole. So my idea is that if there's no staples holding this wire, I can simply make a loop here and then take a wire and just loop them together and I should be able to push this through and find the other end of the wire and as it happens I believe that wire is available yep and there we go and there's the other end of my wire well, that means I don't have to take any drywall apart, which is a really nice thing. So, before it falls all the way out, I want to resecure my cable clamp. It's always a trick to get them started.
this nice and tight, won't fall out. Let me just go ahead and get it ready to hook it back up. And a couple of common electrical tools, plier, stripper, and a razor knife. And let's see, where are we? Let me cut the sheathing back to the clamp. And as far as the length, you know, three inches or so past the box is plenty. Quality wire stripper is an awful nice tool. Makes getting these ends off easy. Usually leave about Take off about a half inch of the insulation. The uh, smoke detector has a separate little plug. Pops off. And you can see there's a black, white, and a red. And we're just going to put these on those connections. I have a couple wired up, ready to go. Might have to get another one. So the red goes from red. started we just put the uh, smoke detector mounting plate back over the screw heads like it was when we started goes in the other ones there almost we go give it a little turn there we go and then we'll just tighten up those two screws and I'm just using the old screws One's Phillips, one's different. Doesn't really matter as long as they're screwed on. detector back in like it was. And 
then put it back on with a twist, and this end's done. So now we still have the uh, old circuit off, but you still got power on it. And we have the new wire we want to connect to the loop. And uh, this is where we stand with that. Oops, that just fell off, which is handy. So we have this new wire. And uh, rather than uh, bore you with a bunch of stuff you don't really need to say, uh, this wire is going to get rerouted through this framing. And I've already got a wire that's coming down from upstairs from another smoke detector circuit. And this thing has four wires, red, white, and black, and the bare one. And I'm just going to connect those wires to these wires into a junction box once I'm ready to hook up this next smoke detector. But it's just that simple. It goes from one detector to the next to the next. You can have as many as 24 smoke detectors on the same circuit throughout your house. And so when one of them goes off, they'll all go off. Now, just for fun, I can uh, hook this up temporarily. We could press this thing, it'll go off if it works right. And then the only other smoke detector that's hooked up currently is upstairs the, of the original. The new ones aren't going on yet because I haven't finished the rooms that they go in. And again, I'm just doing this temporary. Alright, so, uh, at this point, again, that's a temporary hookup. But the smoke detector over here didn't have a power source until I hooked it to this. Uh, now, when I press this test button, it should make a noise. And if it does, it, that should happen upstairs as well. Well, that's a good sign. If we go upstairs, we ought to be able to hear the one upstairs also going into alarm. And so this is a test circuit going on right now, and I can hear from upstairs it's making noise as well. So it works. We have a multiple station loop. All that is required that we do is to just hide the rest of this wire, put it in the junction box, and finish the system. But how you do it in the wiring, that's explained. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you got anything out of this, if you enjoy this kind of information, please like our channel, subscribe, and uh, give us some comments. If you'd like me to address a particular type of project that might help you, uh, make a comment. We'll see if we can address it. So thank you very much.